Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everyone is having a great day today. Uh, Google Assistant is finally officially here on our Galaxy Watch 4s. And now that Assistant is here, I want to do a proper comparison between the Google Assistant and Bigsby. I had done one of these previously, however, um, that comparison was between the Assistant on the Fossil Gen 4 and not the Galaxy Watch 4, obviously. So I wanted to be able to do it Galaxy 4 to Galaxy Watch 4. Uh, Bixby has done a good job for me so far. Uh, handles most all the jobs that I've needed from a smartwatch assistant, which includes creating reminders, setting timers, and answering basic questions, you know, such as what is the weather today or tomorrow. My two biggest hangups with Bixby have always been uh, one, a smart home control. Uh, I have a Google smart home and it just works better with Google and instead of smart things and being able to add uh, to my Google Keep list. So I keep a lot of different lists on Google Keep and Google um, Assistant uh, is easily able to add them to any of those lists of mine uh, just with his voice. So uh, I'm still using my phone anytime I need to make that kind of request, which is kind of a bummer because Sometimes I, I don't know where it's at. I'm sure there is a great reason for this delay uh, in getting the Google Assistant. We've had the watch out for, what, eight months now, um, and uh, it was shown off at the time, but you know I'm sure it's a technical issue. They wanted to get the new Assistant on the watch and not uh, the old one. Um, I'm sure that's what the problem was. I'm sure it is, Google, right? Anyways, uh, right now I'm just going to quickly show you the differences uh, between um, the Google Assistant versions com uh, compared to the old version. I have my TicWatch Pro 3 here, and we're going to use that for the demonstration of the differences in the Google Assistant. So uh, when you hit the when you hit the Google Assistant on here, it'll wait for you to start talking. However, swipe up, I guess and ask it'll ask you what you can do you can get to your settings and it uses these three bars like uh little things here a little bit different here on the galaxy watch 4 the new version as you can tell here has the three little uh co the colored lines here at the bottom uh blank uh everywhere else really unobtrusive a little bit more modern looking um, but there's no swipe you can't get to the settings or any of that kind of stuff from here <laughs> okay so galaxy a tick watch pro 3 still a great watch i always keep this one around because i'm really excited for uh the watch uh wear os 3.0 update for this watch so definitely uh be testing that out when it comes out and if you're wondering i already made a video on how to set up the google assistant get it installed and set up some of the settings there uh, link that down below Right now, there are two ways to activate the assistant. You either long press, like I just showed you, on a button that you uh, you have to set up in the settings, or you can say the hot word. So the hot word uh, for um, the assistant is just like your phone. Hey, Google. Oops. Hey, Google. There you go, pops right up. And uh, hot word uh, and Bixby is exactly the same. So you can set up Bixby here uh, for a long press. Or you can say, hi, Bixby, and they'll both pop up because <laughs> I got Bixby on both, both of these. Very similar ways to activate them. The only difference is you have to press and hold uh, this button and talk while you're holding the button on, on Bixby. But uh, Google Assistant, you don't have to at all. Uh, you just press it once, you'll feel the vibration, and then you can start talking. All right. So uh, these kind of tests, I like to... Uh, uh, just ask with some general questions and then I move to like watch specific questions uh, and then try out some home control. Um, we'll see how it works out. Um, let's see, we got the first question I'm going to ask it. Who is the president of Australia? I found this on the web. Okay, so Google Assistant here on Galaxy Watch 4 gives me I found this on the web. Um, that doesn't do anything for me. So it completely doesn't go on my phone. As you can tell, there's nothing here on the web. You can't see anything right here. And Bixby gives you uh, nothing. They just says you can't help with that. Interesting. 
Is there a president of Australia? Maybe there's not. I'd have to look that up. Who is the president of the United States? The president of the United States of America is Joe Biden. So you can see there, and I don't know if you can see like in the background, there's actually like a, a photograph kind of hazed in the background there. It's kind of cool. Uh, but it gives you the name, and Bigsby tells me uh, that's not something um, she can help me with. Let's try something a little bit more si uh, simple. What is the weather in Sydney, Australia? Currently in Sydney, Australia, it's 59 degrees and mostly cloudy. Now, as you can see there, oh, sunny. still going. Forecasted high of 67 and a low of 50. And I lost big, uh, hold on just a second. What is the weather in Sydney, Australia? Okay, it's back. So, as you can see here, um, it, it, it's just like, it gives you a nice 61 degrees. This gives you a big giant, uh, so you can see it easily. And then it gives you a nice little um, hour by hour uh, as you go down for the weather. And same thing here, um, this gives you a low and a high. Uh, and then gives you an hour by hour also, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go and do the next one here. What is the weather in Colorado? Right now in Denver, it's 72 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 72 and a low of 47. And as you can see there, it gives you the same thing, 72 degrees. Um, here it tells you specifically it's Denver. Um, and here in Big B, it just tells you that it is in Colorado, which is Denver. Usually it just defaults to Denver. So sweet. Both of them did a fantastic job on that, which I was not surprised because I use that all the time for that. But I do like the graphics better on the Google Assistant. I think that looks a lot sharper. It uh, looks a lot like the uh, One UI weather on on the watch itself so super cool super cool let's try a different one who is the best selling singer in the world according to wikipedia elvis presley is considered the all right so as google assistant often does it gives you a a um, setting there from Wikipedia and then reads it to you and Bixby tells you that it's not supported, which is unfortunate uh, But Elvis Presley go the king All right, let's try one more here How old was Johnny Cash when he died? This one right here uh, answers instantly, and for some reason that took a second there, but it did give me the actual answer, as you can see there. And again, it gives you like a little photograph here in the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, pretty cool. So again, not surprised. I think uh, any of us have used Bixby, uh, not surprised at all that it uh, did not get some of those answers. It's just not something good for it. Let's move on into uh, some uh, watch control and see what happens. Something I use a lot. Set timer for two minutes. Two minutes. And they both got it, but as you can tell, uh, Bixby did it faster and got it going quick. We're about a second difference here, but it did pull up the native um, timer app. So fantastic there. Let's close that out. Close you out. All right, another thing I use often for voices, open Google Keep app. Opening, keep notes. All right, so they, whoops. All right, so they both did it just fine. Uh, and let's see here. Yeah, they both opened them just fine. I uh, clicked the button and saw that, saw that. But as you noticed, uh, the Bixby here uh, smoked it and got it open way faster, uh, way faster than Google Assistant, but they both opened it, which is what I'm looking for. Open Todoist app. Opening Todoist. Okay, now as you can see here, uh, it opened the, my uh, task manager Todoist, and here it just does to do list. It thinks I said to do list. 
And I can tell you right now, just from experience, no matter how many times I say that, it's still going to just do to-do list. It doesn't understand that there is an app called Todoist on there. So, interesting. Turn on sleep mode. Boom. Bixby smokes it here. You can turn on your bedtime mode for you. Um, just with voice and a Google Assistant can't do that kind of granular watch control, which is unfortunate also. Turn on do not disturb. I can't change do not disturb yet. So as she said here, we can't change that do not disturb, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. And uh, Bixby doesn't actually turn it on, but it will open it to where you can click it on and off. I think those are pretty common watch controls that I would use uh, a lot with voice. So um, Bixby uh, does really good on, on that particular thing. And then something that's near and dear to my heart, add peanut butter to my shopping list. You heard the ding, Google Assistant uh, added peanut butter, and there aren't any shopping list capsules available. Bixby needs a capsule to do that. There's no way to set it up. And uh, just so we know what it did there, let's see. Open Google Keep. I couldn't find that list, but do you want... Open Google Keep app. And if you notice there, I gotta say app at the end. Uh, otherwise, it does something funky there. I'm not sure why that is. But as you can see, here we now we have on our shopping list, we have peanut butter. Fantastic. So we can check that off whenever we want to. Cool. All right, let's move on. Just a couple home control ones. Like I said, I have some things uh, connected to smart things uh, for the Samsung, and then everything everything's connected to Google Home. So let's try a couple, uh, just a couple here. I am leaving home. Bye, Clint. There you go. So that one says bye, Clint. And uh, this one says there's no navigation uh, uh, capsules available. I'm not sure what Bixby was thinking there, um, but that's not, <laughs> not exactly what I wanted at all. But uh, Google Assistant actually uh, give me a little thing, but I'm going to tell you right now, just a little secret. That is a routine uh, that I say that leaving home leaving home routines are currently supported on this device and so that routine actually didn't run it just gave me a little funny goodbye clint uh but routines are still currently not supported on this device which is a huge bummer i was really hoping the new google assistant was going to be able to support routines because uh, i use that all the time i have a lot a lot routine set up that leaving home one actually would adjust my thermostat turn off all my lights um does does everything for me. I say that every day. Uh, it would be nice to be able to do it on my watch. Let's try something else real quick. Turn off studio in two minutes. All right, I'll turn off the studio light at 5.51 p.m. Google Assistant will tell me that it'll shut off the studio light at 5.51 p.m., uh, which is two minutes from now. And uh, Samsung doesn't see the uh, device. So let me try something different here. Turn off living room light in two minutes. Okay, it's saved. So they both can do the same thing, which I think is great because sometimes I'll be walking out the door. I tell it to do something in a couple minutes. Uh, uh, one that I do often is uh, turn on my Roomba. Uh, so I'll say turn on Roomba and vacuum, you know, the main area in 10 minutes. That gives me time to get all my stuff and get out of the house before the Roomba comes on. Because if you have a robot vacuum, you'll understand. It's just not something you want to be in the house for. Uh, it's loud and obnoxious. But that's the end of my test today. As you can see, um, it's pretty close to what we did last time. This definitely runs much smoother than the uh, Google Assistant on Wear OS 2.0. I feel like it answers me most of the time. It goes pretty quick. Uh, but you still can't beat the actual watch control on Big Speed. It works really good, and I would recommend using both of them. So 
uh, I'm going to rock out uh, Google Assistant on the button and then still be able to say the Hi Bixby um, hot word so I can still use Bixby. I do the exact same thing with my phone. The only difference is Samsung phones give you uh, Bixby in the button, so I'll just hold down the button and talk to, to Bixby. Um, so I use them both. I think they're both uh, great. Um, I think it's a little redundant to have both of them, but I will use whatever technology you give me and uh, give it a shot. But uh, that's the end of my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Until um, next time, I will see you on the next one.